In tonight's Medical Watch, some blistering facts about sun exposure and the damage it causes, especially in kids and young adults. A local dermatologist sheds light on the statistics while warning everyone to cover up. I feel good when I'm tan. Everything just looks better when you're tan. When 25-year-old Rachel Cohen isn't baking cookies at Manny's Deli in Chicago, she's baking her body in the sun, a habit she fell in love with in grade school. Starting like around fifth grade, it started where, you know, everyone always went away winter break, and when you came home, you had to be the darkest person. It was a competition, and I had to win, and I did. She may have crushed the competition with her killer tan, but now Rachel faces a new opponent, sun damage. I guess it's from burning my chest over and over again. And it was like when I was 23, woke up one morning and they were there. And it was sad. Sunspots, the first outward signs of sun damage. Did it change my habits? No. I hate to say it, but no. Still in the sun, you will always find me at the pool. You'll also find her here at the dermatologist's office. With sunspots popping up, Rachel comes in to have her skin checked. The first one right away that I look at and I see is you know, the one yep. big one on my chest. A routine biopsy will show whether the lesion is cancerous, but there's no test to determine Rachel's future risk. Most of your sun damage happens at a young age. That's just one statistic dermatologist Dr. Amy Brodsky shares with her sun-worshipping patients. The others are equally alarming. One blistering sunburn, which I told Rachel, can increase your risk of skin cancer by 50 percent. And just five sunburns alone can increase your risk of skin cancer by 50%. And it's alarming that one person dies of melanoma every hour, and people just don't realize that. It's not the most common form of skin cancer, but it is the deadliest. For women between the ages 25 and 30, it's the leading cause of cancer death. So before the age of 40, it's more likely to be women. And then after the age of 40, it's much more likely to be men. And when it comes to tanning beds, anyone younger than 18 who sits inside drives up the risk of melanoma by 75%. Tan is actually radiation and inflammation. It's not healthy. That's why Dr. Brodsky is focusing on the young, kids who can form safe sun habits that will protect them well into adulthood. I'm not saying they shouldn't have fun, but they should do stay between the hours of 10 and 3. They should protect themselves. They should reapply sunscreen every two hours. You're supposed to put on at least two ounces of sunscreen every two hours. That's two shot glass worth of sunscreen. They should wear hats. They should wear um, shirts. We need to change the image. We need to tell people that fair is beautiful. And if you are diagnosed with melanoma, doctors will tell you, unlike other cancers, there are no effective treatments. There is a great deal of study, though, and this weekend there's a fundraising effort for research. Join me in the Tebs Troops Miles for Melanoma race this Sunday at Montrose Harbor, where there will also be free skin screenings. All the information is on our webpage, WGNTV.com. Back to you.